Hello and welcome to another video of Nerd Central. Um, this video we're going to talk about a servers, a uh, feature server where you can share your images and everybody knows that this is one of many. Uh, Flirt.com and this video, the idea of this video, at least on the first video I'm going to do is to show how you can search images using the API so the first thing you need to do is go to flirt.com scroll down and you will see AMP and the API from there you click API documentation and from here there's some examples and it's kinda the first time you go in here it's kinda confusing to find something that kinda works right away so the first thing you even need to do before you do this uh, this tutorial or this video you need to get an API key so you need to sign in using your Facebook or Google or Yahoo uh, account and it will give you an ID it's a key that's what they call it a key. so that's the first thing you need to do the second thing that you can try at least on this video I try uh, there's many ways of requesting uh, data from this server you have three REST, XML, RPC and SOAP so we're going to see one of those on this video so the easiest one I could find here that I could do on the first video is to search for images so if you go down here there's a flirt.photos.search so if you click it it will tell you that you uh, you don't need authentication on this one but you do need a key as you can see that's the first thing they have here it is required so get the key and then you can continue uh, watching this video and try it on but anyways there's a lot of arguments you can pass a bunch and we're just gonna scroll down so down there should be an, a sample of what it looks like so here's what they return back to you and it has a bunch of yeah, XML with a bunch of attributes kind of hard to read from this layout but it is going down it basically doesn't give you much at least for a .NET beginner guy or someone who's not doing a lot of REST calls. So anyway, so here's the code. I'm using Visual Studio 2010 Professional. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, the only thing I added was the settings file. That's where I store my developer key. That's the one you need to get. Second thing, uh, you need to reference this XML. Well, there's many ways of doing this but the way I did it I'm using XML and link so if you scroll down as you can see this is the finished product call it that and we're gonna run it so you can see what happens so first we're gonna enter a search gonna search for uh, for uh, football something like that then we're gonna hit and say well uh, how many images do I want per page I'll just say that I want four and then after this step uh, at least for this demo Firefox is gonna show up all the images got it so as you can see we have the URL for this image for every every image we have it so looks very really easy. Now we go down to to the console. So as you can see here, that's what we're searching and how many pictures we wanted. So we said four, we got four back. And as you can see now, I have some values here. It's telling us this page one, and we actually 
we have a bunch of pages so you can see 89,000 or 897,000 blah 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 so we got four per page and the total is a bunch of images now the next thing is the part you actually need so you can pull or build you the URL so according to the files or the documentation here you need to build build a URL and I'm just I don't know where I was but anyways you need to pass the farm ID which is eight as you can see farm value is eight the next part is static static clerk.com slash the next value is a dynamic one so this one you're passing the server that value 7121 slash and then you're passing I believe this is the ID 7417 yep that's the ID underscore and then the secret this one has a secret value which is this one dot jpeg so for Im every image you look through the xml you build your url and then you can do whatever you want with that so now i'm gonna continue with this demo i'm gonna close this guy well just just to go over this uh, here i'm just reading whatever i type in to the console and here I have a method called get images. And it takes two arguments. One is the search keyword and uh per page. Images per page. So here's the font, the method. And as you can see, I'm starting off really simple, nothing fancy. I have a string formatted, and as you can see, all of this is a static, and I'm using the rest uh web service calling and here i'm saying what method i'm using which is the search and as you can see here i'm saying hey my key is this one my tags that's where the keyword is going to and here is the number of images per page so key what i'm searching for and how many per page that's all and here I'm just initializing a web client object and this is coming from the system.net uh, name class and here I'm just building a URI object and here I'm just saying web client download this string from here which is this whole URL and this is optional but just for testing I'm passing this I'm building an XML XML document and I'm gonna load it and then save it based on my search keyword as an XML file. And the next thing is to read the file. Now to read the file, I have another method called get read get images results. And in here, at least for this demo, I'm just passing the file that I just built and I'm loading it into this link XML object and from there I'm getting the attributes you can see this X attribute so I'm saving it into this value hi so I had to pause the video for a second so to get going or to continue the video as you can see, uh, I have a method called get attribute. On the demo that I did, you saw that I have the value for the what page I have, and the total pages per page, and the total searches that it found. So to get all this, I have a, a method called get attribute. And what this one is doing is, as you can see, I'm using uh xml that link and lambda expressions and as you can see i'm passing the photo i'm gonna open the file that i did earlier 
So I'm going to open this one that I did that was testing on. So you can ask yourself, where did I get photos from? It's from here. That's photos, as you can see. Photos. And then I'm saying I want to select the attribute uh, where the name is the attribute that I'm looking for. And then give me the first attribute and the first vector. That's how this one is giving me back this attribute. And I have the name and the value, which basically means that if I say I want a server attribute, it will give me the server attribute and the value. That's what this method is doing. This one. So two lines, and then you return it back. Uh, the next thing is the same thing. Now this is a little bit tricky, which is getting the photos attributes. For example, the title, that's an attribute, but you don't need it for to get the images. You do need the farm, the server, secret, and the ID. So here's what I did. I went down one level more in the XML to photo. So I'm getting elements, photo elements. As you can see, I got four here. So they're all going into this bucket. Let's call it that. And then all this list. So I'm looking through, and here I'm getting the element. And I have another method to uh, get details. On this one, this is going to be my funnel object that is going to hold the values to build the URL. So here I'm saying, hey, give me the attributes for that element. And we're going to loop through. And we're going to go through each loop. And we're going to find each loop if, if, if I have the farm, server, ID, and secret. Once the loop is finished, I'll have all these values into my object called photo value. This is something that I just made up. Just to keep reference, it's easier to read your code when you have a class. You got a reference in this URL. So here again, I'm using uh, the string dot format, and I'm passing on here my value right after. And as you can see, I have my final URL, and I'm just saying Firefox open up to this URL. So hopefully, this video will help you uh, a bit about using the clerk uh, service you can find it by going at the bottom of the page on the api documentation and this this video is using the photo search there's a bunch uploads and all that but this one was the easiest to show on this uh video so if i can find it there we go. Photos. That photos. That search. That's what I'm using. And as you can see, we're using the tags to pull images. At least on this. There's many ways, but that's one way. So if you have any questions, uh, of course you can leave it on YouTube. Uh, the fastest way I will answer back to you is you go to Twitter at Cafe ASP. Uh, you can follow me and then I can send you the answer back or the source code back. And otherwise, you can, I'm also uh, at facebook.com C Sharp Nerd. And I'm posting uh, links for the source code. So if you want this source, source code, uh, send me a message via Facebook if you want to like this page or on Twitter. Thank you for watching.